you talked about tax being a three-letter word that's destroying the country and destroying families. Mm -hmm. In what ways are doing that and how do you want to see that change? Well, I can see it in, in two ways and I'll give you some examples. Um, the first is that I listened, or rather I read reports quoting uh, Jim Kalali, who used to be the Deputy Commissioner of Taxation for International Matters and Large Companies. And he said in 1996 and 2010 that 90% of Australia's large companies are foreign-owned and since 1953 have paid little or no tax. Little or no tax, company tax that is. They are coming into this country using our resources, our people, and they are not paying their fair way. The second thing is that according to figures from Joe Hockey, who was treasurer on the 24th of January last year, he said that typically Australians pay 50% of our income in tax. Now that's ridiculous. But if we go a step further, and we go back to the Australian Bureau of Statistics figures from the late 1990s and early 2000s, a person on the average weekly wage was paying 68% of their income to government. That's taxes, rates, levies, fees, charges, GST. That's deplorable. Government's role is to protect life, protect property, and protect freedom. Government has now become a control center. And we have, we have bureaucrats implementing legislation and Julia Gillard being proud about the number of, number of pieces of legislation she's passed. That's not what we're about. Government is a service to the people. And that's why I said in my opening comments, I will be serving the people of Queensland and Australia. Does that answer your question, Matt, on tax?